Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. It's great to be with you on the show again, and I hope you will have a splendid time with us today. Let's get started with a report on a book reading event for a prize that is in many ways defining Nigerian literature and is worth over 36 million naira as reward to its winner. The Nigeria Prize for Literature, sponsored by the Nigeria Liquefied and Natural Gas Company, NLNG, has grown to become one of the most recognizable and prestigious literary prizes in Africa, with $100,000 given to its winner annually. Soji Cole, a university teacher, playwright and dramatist, won the 2018 edition through a play published as Embers. Embers has been described as a good piece of dramatic literature, a potentially powerful theatre, and an authentic Nigerian drama with a suspenseful spin. Well done. Very good. To further introduce Embers and its award-winning author to the public, NLNG organised a reading event at the British Council, Ikoyi, Lagos, with some members of the public, but mostly secondary school students in attendance. The Catch Them Young vision of the gas company was fully at play. Oh, I had no issue. <laughs> I had no issue. There was a discussion session. But well, why did you choose that as a title out of so many things that you actually wrote in the book? Why embers? Thank you. Uh, it, it's uh, a configuration of the play itself. Um, it's driven towards a kind of imagery where I conceive that uh, the way we are pushing ourselves in the country, we, we, we are going to be inflamed we are all going to be in a certain and say, come come what's that thing we call uh this glowing fire almost like when you are burning charcoal what's that thing and they were all racking their heads and they were saying so many things no no that's not what i want that's not what i want and then it came so oh i think it's embers so yes it's embers so embers came a reading session the horrors that i saw in five days were more frightful than the fiercest things I saw in Sambisa Forest. The soldiers slaughtered any man that passed by the village. They didn't even wait to ask questions. Some men who escaped the destruction of the Boko Boys were returning to Gali to see what can be salvaged. They were all killed by the soldiers. Even when I told them that I knew a man they captured, they threatened to kill me too. The questions and answers session. Whenever you rise, do you get inspiration from where you sit and your environment? While you, write, while you were refining your novel, how did you pick out the scenes you wanted to stay in and those that you thought would be too radical to, to, um, to allow into your book? The work of uh, a writer is like a precarious thing, you know, you are on that fringe of danger. You understand? Um, in uh, uh, old uh, Spanish uh, writings, then I think that is 19th century Spanish writing. That, that one of their biggest writers, Garcia Loca, was murdered by government. And we have seen that before. People like Shoyinka have been bullied by government. People like Oshopison have been bullied by government. Even contemporary writers, journalists, have been hounded almost on a daily basis. The students were inspired and it was pleasant to discover that some of them have been writing their own books. I'm writing a book, it's a prose and the title is Loneliness. It's talking about a girl who her parents work a lot and they don't give her time and she had to face life challenges alone. In her school she was influenced by her friends because her parents didn't tell her some things about teenagers and um, make some negative things so she was influenced by 
her peers in school and later she went into something wrong and then her parents found out that everything that happened was their fault so they had a um, turn around and start telling the daughter things to do and things not to do it was apparently a good time for guests students and even the organizers for us uh, as you can see the children were here it's fantastic for us for us we believe that as part of our vision of helping to build a better Nigeria, uh, you need to encourage the children. Uh, for us, bringing Sojiku here in person is something that these children uh, will see as as, uh, as 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 a dream of a lifetime. It also goes to motivate them to ensure that we get better Sojikus in the future. So I'm sure that from one of these children, in a few years to come, one of two few of them, we are going to begin to see champions emerge. If you look at history, you find that a writer wrote about going to the moon long before the United States landed a man there. Because writing is a question of imagination. So you encourage your children to use their imagination, be creative and so on. It's very good. That's why we must continue to support this kind of enterprise. His story is very inspiring because he said that he grew up without a parent so he inspired himself to, to write and to win this award. So his story is inspiring. Right now, entries for the 2019 edition of the Nigeria Prize for Literature are being accepted by its advisory board. This year's prize is for writers of children's literature. So if you are one, do an online check on the Nigeria Prize for Literature 2019 and start applying. You just might be the next winner of Africa's biggest literary prize.